desktop audio to something on my phone so as not to use up all the bandwidth. set everything up and then just other things kept me from being on time I apologize for that um all right so what are we doing okay, now I'm getting everything else out of the way so we can work on this so I did work on Hubble a little bit things that I'm loving right now is um, how various twitch streamers are doing them is that I used a really chunky yarn for this. Maybe I should have used a smaller yarn. Well, hang on. Let's, let's try this real quick. Let me go back up to the eyes. Okay, so my first issue was that I used too big of a hook. I was supposed to be using a three millimeter hook. So that's the first issue. So let's try this again. Using a magic ring. Bleh. Okay. And. Oh, come on. All right, so this size versus this size, much better. So now, I'm do that again. One. I don't want to fix this one, so I'm gonna. Because I want them to both look the same. So, this is what I'm gonna do. I've already pulled through, so I'm just gonna put my hook in this last stitch and pull this out. Hey Walter, welcome back. So I'm remaking the eyes because I wasn't happy with the um, uh, with the eyes that I had pre-made. Come to find out that I had um, uh, made them too uh, too big, like I'd used a too big hook when I made them. So. 
remaking them. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, okay, twelve, and slip stitch. There. Now they should look the same. Okay. Yeah, that's much better. So now I need some black to make the eyes expressive. Now I have this sock yarn. What color is the sock yarn to start with? Ooh, that might work. Maybe? No. It says to use a black yarn. All right, we'll find a black yarn. Hold on. I have a few of them. Uh, this one should work. Yeah, this will do. It's a bit chunky, but we'll make it work. Okay. Insert yarn here. And we're going to pull through. And then slip stitch four stitches. So that's one. That's two. That's three. Come on. And that's four. Okay, so then it's there. Make sure I've got all the threads because this is also a very bulky thread. I think it has like 10 individual strands to it. All right, so. So one. through the back. Okay. Now we're cooking with grease. Alright. Okay. You can see at the open edge of the body if the eyes are off center the legs won't line up with them. Oh. Cool. Okay. So we've got those centered. This is like your version of LASIK surgery. Oh no!
I'm basically going to use my fingers to guide the needle so it doesn't hook any more of those uh, other stray um, yarn. Come on now. There we go. Okay. Once you've sewn all around the eye, push your needle through to the inside. Okay. like so. Secure your snowing with a couple of knots hidden behind the eye. Leave the loose ends inside the body. Okay, we'll do that after we attach the other eye. So one thing that's happened is that this has kind of skewed slightly this way. So when I sew this one on, I'm going to sew it in the opposite way around so that it skews slightly that way. That way it's still even. Okay. So we have this. Oh, don't you move. Don't you dare move. That's not okay. This is the longer of the two. And up and into here. There we go. We're just going to go backwards around the eye. Well, backwards in comparison to what we did with this eye. Because like we said, we want to make sure that they are even. And since, they, since this one got kind of skewed, I'm going to skew this one as well. But honestly, um... An octopus and squid, their eyes are on the side of their body, and I think, if I remember correctly, um, they they may be able to move them uh, independently. Maybe. So now it's got that nice natural slant to the outside as well. I love it when a plan comes together. Ah, okay. I did a boo-boo. That's what happened there. But now that this is already stitched down, I don't feel so bad about doing this weirdly. Because the angle's already set. Okay. So now, we're going to knot some things. So I'm going to flip this inside out to make it easier to get to. Take these, do... Just a quick square knot. There we go. And a quick square knot here. Two. Now all of those are going to get 
tucked up nice and neat inside along with the stuffing when we get to that point. Uh, the eight legs are shorter than the two tentacles. The legs will be attached first. Remove the... Okay, and so what I'm going to do... Do the legs say to finish them off and then tie off the end? To weave in the loose end that was left hanging free to sew. Okay, so each of these should only have one long loose end. Let's go back down to where we were. Turn the leg, turn the body upside down, place the leg with the wrong side facing up so that it is so that it's fried. This is the wrong side because it's the inside. So what I'm doing is I am taking this hook, this loop here, and this loop here. Egg. Work a single crochet joining both pieces. Continue to work through both layers, single crochet into the last chain of the leg, the chain that both HDC are worked into, and the next stitch on the body. Lay the loose end of the leg over the open edge. Of the body so it will end up nestled between the two stitches. I'm just going to scroll up real quick to make sure that I understand what WS and RS mean. Okay, so WS and RS do mean wrong side, right side. Got it. Alright, so I believe what happens, I think it's two full stitches that go through here, or it's three, it's, yeah, so it's three, so there's going to be one here, one here, and one here, okay, 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 yeah, I got it, I got it, so, one, Here. 
and crochet. That's two. And then here, come on, come on. I think that's right yeah that's right okay so that's the first one I guess we put the tentacles on last. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Leg. All right. So. Here's the next leg. So we go through here. Oh, I think I did this wrong because I was only going through one loop and not both loops of that crochet. All right. It's okay. I got this. Oh hey, you know that uh, that charity that my uh, my friend T is doing? He broke twenty four hundred today, and uh, if you can help feed some kids, awesome. If you can't, spread the word, and that will help too. Okay, that's a single crochet, and then we go in the middle. And we go into the next stitch. And then we go back. Single crochet. Slide this over. And we go into, into this stitch. Come on. There we go. And we go in here. We make sure that this is in the middle. And then we single crochet. There we go. Ready? Come on. You wanna? There we go. All right. So that's one. Okay. Two. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, so once again, we go through this. And we go through this. Nope. Where's my... There's my thread. My working yarn. Okay. So basically the directions say that when I'm doing this, these two long threads are going to get put in the middle here. Between the stitches. Oh man. That's what I should have called this, between the stitches. It's okay though, it's fine. Okay, so here's the next stitch. And 
then we go through this one and here. And like so. Okay. And I am going to have to pause in a little bit to. To take dinner out of the oven. That's okay. You all will forgive me, right? I know you will. Okay, so that's three. Right, one, two, three, great. So now we're gonna take this one and we're just gonna follow the color. Where are my two tentacles? Okay, these are my two tentacles, so I'm going to put those off to the side. Okay, so again, we're going in here, and we're going in this stitch. We are making sure that all these lovely strings are being put in the middle. So that's one. That's two. And that's three. All right, three tentacles. Uh, uh, uh. Um, so now we're gonna go to the purple because the maroon goes on to the tentacles and I did not plan that out well, but that's okay. Happy accidents, folks, happy accidents. Okay. So, first we go in this one. And it looks like I spaced these perfectly. Yay, go me! Next one. All right, that's two. My goodness, Kevin McLeod. So aggressive on those last notes. All right, so now we're going to the purple to blue. Just making sure that the stray strings didn't go on the outside. Alright, so going in here.
And even if I'm doing this wrong a little bit, if I'm doing it consistently, it'll look like I did it on purpose. And it's my octopus or squid, and I can do what I want. Right? Right. All right, we're on. We're on 32, technically. Technically. Hey, Shane. Good to see ya. We are. I found the pieces of the squid, so now we're working on the squid. And we're putting his legs on. Although, as soon as my timer comes up, I have to pause for a minute to take dinner out of the oven. How are you, my friend? Whoop. There. Now you're going through all the loops. All right, last of the little legs. Sorting out Mum's world collection today. I can only imagine that that was a challenge because whenever I go through my wool or my yarn, it's always a it's always a big undertaking. How did you all make out? Did you find pieces that you forgot that she'd forgotten was there? That's one of my favorite parts of sorting through stuff. Is oh I completely forgot I had this. Now I've got to figure out what to do with it. It only took three hours and got some more to do tomorrow. Well, that is still a significant amount of time. But I wish you the best of luck with that. So I have just learned that I have too many stitches. But I don't feel like going back and correcting it. So you know what? I'm just going to slip stitch. Till I get to this first one. And then I'm going to do the thing. How many stitches does that mean I have? Let's see. One. Oops. So somewhere along the way I did something incorrectly, but I'm so far along I'm not going to just stop. <laughs> is my timer so if you all will excuse me for just a moment I will uh, be right back
Alrighty, and I'm back. Um, yeah, my uh, my roommate is ever more confused, and uh, so he he shut off the uh, um. It doesn't matter. Memory issues suck, man. But he didn't understand what was going on. Um, so hopefully he will feed himself without, um, without too much issue. Okay. Um, so now we do, so how many stitches was it from here to here? It was one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, so four plus it's supposed it was supposed to be twenty-four. So that makes it twenty-eight. And so twenty-eight is twenty-eight divisible by six? No, but it's divisible by Seven, right? Yeah. So I do two single crochet and then a decrease. It will, I'm going to put all these in the middle. Um, it'll be different, but I have an idea of how it's going to work out. So, this one two and a decrease oh you love the hold music um so that was uh magic scout it is uh by it is uh again music by uh kevin mccloud uh kevin mccloud um over at incompetech.com he shares all of his music royalty free it's very peppy. It is extremely peppy. Um, so yeah. Oh my goodness, we might... Where's the single? Okay. <sighs> Wake up, Spence. Hey, Jason! How you doing, friend? Um, so we are making a squid today. I am slowly but surely finishing this off. I've attached all the legs. Apparently, I attached the tentacles at the end. So one, two, decrease. How are you doing today, my friend? I love the piece of uh, nutty that you did. That was awesome.
Okay, so now we're on. Hung out on Stargazer's uh, channel for a little bit um, yesterday, and that was really cool. Um, I, I love the way that she was building up uh, the colors. I think that was brilliant. Okay, so now we're going to stuff the body. Yay! Stuff the body, stuff the body. Gotta find my yarn that sucks. Oh wait, I was going to stuff this with black yarn. That's right. That's right. Because I was like, they squirt black ink at people when they're scared, right? Right. So... Hey, Nutty, thanks for the host. It is appreciated. And now they're going to see me stuffing a squid. Pull that out so I can take the hook out. Spence, why are you unrolling that perfectly good ball of yarn? This ball of yarn is itchy. Itchy AF. So, it's good for stuffing. Yes, I am almost done with the squid. Uh, Nutty, I hope Tech is not with you because I'm going to give you a preview of what I'm making for Tech. Um, so if he is with you, tell him to go away. <laughs> Oh good, oh good. Well, all right. We're gonna pause with the squid so that I can share something with Nutty. Okay, so Nutty. Um, nope, that is not the right thing. Stop that. So, Nutty, I had the hardest time uh, figuring out how I was going to turn this into a, uh, a bird, but I think I figured it out. So um, I am going to use the, um, this parrot design. I'm going to use a bigger hook, and I started it earlier today. So. Let me get rid of that. Um, so this is going to be the body. And then I'm going to alternate between. So this is like the little white crest that it has around its neck. And then I'm going to alternate between the white and the gray. To make the little um, feather type chevrons on the inside. And then the feathers on the outside are going to be this gray as well. Um, and I have some nice inspiration because these are peregrine falcon feathers. So there's that. Um, so yeah, and it's going to be great. I have to wing it a little bit because of the yarns being different weights. Um, but also, um, the pattern often turns. So I'll have to figure something out as I'm going down toward the body to make sure that the white the white and gray crest stays in the center of the body um, and that the solid gray stays at the back. But I'll figure it out. I will. Okay. That is my little aside. We now return to your regular, regularly scheduled programming. I'm going to use my nice big chalk marker to try and stuff this down into the little flap here. There we go. That's a little better. 
yeah, I'm I'm excited to work on it because it's gonna challenge me um, in using two different kinds of yarn at the same time. Um, but it'll be fun. I will need, oh, so um, one thing that you can do is you can, uh, to have it sit on text shoulder, is you can either use um, a barrette, because the bottom of it, the bottom of it will look like this, but it'll have a tail coming up from here. So you could put um, a barrette, you can put a bobby pin, um, like so. Um, you could even use a safety pin or two and have it sit on um, his uh, where his epaulets should go and that would be fun I would love to see pictures of him throwing it at his uh, at his students too because that would be amazing <laughs> for those of you just turning in yesterday Nutty's husband tech hijacked her twitch account to ask me on my stream to make him a bird that he could throw at his uh, uh, students <laughs> Speaking of, Maynard has not been on stream for the whole day. I'm sure he's super mad at me and judging me. Yeah, you are judging me. It's fine. Sent someone today working on a semi schedule. I may change my schedule based on my other work, but this week I am committing to streaming sometime today and sometime Saturday. When, well, not in the early a.m. is all I can say so far. <laughs> yeah, he did tell us that he was going to go confess to you that he had got he had requested a commission from me, and I was very delighted. All right, I think this is looking nice and stuffed. Yeah, that's cute. We'll cut this off for now, and if I need to add more, I'll add more. You are a wonderful gamer. Yes. Okay. I had to redo the eyes today, but... He's so happy. Blurb, 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 blurb. And I will also note that... Um, my Facebook stream chose the uh, the colors or the the skein of yarn that I would use for for this squid. All right, what row are we on? Thirty three. This is why I have my row counter here. Okay, stuff the body. Blah 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 blah. Leave the top part completely empty or flat, you loser. No, we're not leaving it flat. It needs to be squishy too. Okay. Oh, we're attaching the tentacles. So lay them on the body with the wrong side facing out. They don't both go on one side. That's dumb. One should go here and one should go there. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. It's my squid. I'll do what I want with it. Don't mind me. I am a little punchy today. Cover that. Yes. So the uh, the black stuffing is specifically so that if stuffing ever at some point, <laughs> and I have too many stitches now, so now I have to figure things out. I have to make adjustments. Oops, that's the wrong side. That is the correct side that should be out. I appreciate your confidence in me, Nutty. Okay, so. One. Two. And 
then I guess we'll do a decrease. Because then that should put me... Okay, I'll do another decrease and that'll put me in the right position. I love your faith in me. <laughs> oh, man. So, Nutty, how are you today, my friend? I do love that we have a full house today. Well, full house for my standards. Oops. Aaron is supposed to be back there. Alrighty. Okay, so now um, we're going to decrease four times and see what it looks like. Really? That would be interesting. See, my thing is, is that I'm making dinner in between the stream. Like, I start dinner before the stream, and then I have to take a break now um, during the stream to uh, make sure that Glenn eats it. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, check to see that the tentacles are s blah, blah, blah. Are centered with the legs. Okay. Oh, and I want to make falafel. Turns out that it takes a few days to prep too so i started soaking chickpeas and for that too oddly it feels easier to do long process kitchen experiments well you know what i think what it is is that the overall active time that you have for it is not a great deal and so that takes some of the pressure off now i have an instant pot and that's definitely helping me all right, so we are doing more decreases. I might finish this. Oh my God. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I forgot to. Oh no. I put on one of the tentacles backwards. Yeah, I did. I put on one of the tentacles backwards. <laughs> Oops. So that's the thing I did. Alright. So first of all, since it's going to go that way, I'm going to put the maroon one on first. Um, but yeah, so it, it feels like, um, 
much less work when most of it is set it and forget it or have a timer on it. Now I have to remember what we did in between the eyes. I think we did two um, um, decreases. That sounds right. One. Two. Yeah, that's right. And then we attach this one. I also put out a podcast today, editing the next one and have plans for drawings. I am so excited I can come back to the comic idea I have, but it will take more than a day to do it. But that's awesome, Nutty, and I'm really excited for that. All right, you. I thought I was smart tucking in this end, but I wasn't. Okay. Okay. And now we will tuck this part in. We'll tuck that one in. And then we'll redo everything that we just did. <laughs> Didn't work on long pieces during like yeah and that's understandable um, that's part of the reason why I broke down my schedule into okay what specifically am I working on each day um, and the other part of that is that my um, I do have a pretty significant stash of works in progress that I need to be working on so if I have specific days to work on them um, it kind of motivates me to just get it done, I guess. Um, tomorrow I'm actually going to start on my Ursula the Sea Witch, um, cosplay because I had to give up the, um, the Crescent Moon Wand for now. I spent a lot of time on it, so thank you. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, so um, the first thing I'm going to be doing is making a uh, kind of a mesh top. Um, and then I'm going to be figuring out how to do tentacles. So that'll be fun. It's all going to be free-handed. I'm almost to the point where I'm going to shave my head. <laughs> so by the time I'm done with it, I will have hair long enough where I could just moose it up uh, into that, that Ursula style and just spray paint it different shades of silver.
and I'll put a little bit more yarn in here. Okay, now I'm happy with that. So now we are going to cut and sew this last bit. And my, oh, there it is. So um, I I think you voted on this maybe. Um, I did a, a poll on Facebook because I couldn't decide if I wanted this yarn or another yarn that uh, goes. Well, I can show you here. So this is the other. Ooh, hello. Very neon. There we go. Um, so this is the other yarn that I was going to use, um, but the people voted and they said they liked this skein better, but this is how that, uh, the tentacle would have looked. So anyway, ah, now I can see again. Okay. And then we're going to do like I do with all of my little stuffed things. I'm going to take the edge and me well you know maybe maybe certain steampunk uh people that we know would want a uh, nerf colored squid i don't know all right friends it's a squid yeah, I gotta have him looking shabby. There are no shabby squids on my stream because they're all beautiful. Okay. I will finish giving Hubble, his name is Hubble, because that's what the pattern named him. Um manicure. Here we go. So yes. I'm very happy with this. It's super cute. I'll have to figure out a way to take a good picture. Like, if I move my stuff and bring my microphone over here. I could probably like... Nope, there goes the camera. Okay. I could probably sit him on here like that. Actually, that'd be really cute. <laughs> So that, that's going to be his Instagram thing. Also, hey everybody, drink your water. Somebody put... Whee. Center this back on the area I want. Yeah. 
So um, I'm going to have uh, Hubble take over the microphone at some point. Um, nope, that didn't work. There we go. And I'm gonna drink my seltzer. Oh man, y'all, that was fun. And I finally finished my squid. So he has a submarine to go shit to go sink. Um, so, and I have some fried chicken that I get to go eat. So I'm going to end it here, but thanks everybody for, for being here. Uh, I really enjoyed your company. And if you are enjoying what I do, go ahead and hit follow up above my head. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit YouTube, hit subscribe. Um, and yeah. I don't have a toy boat, though. I wish I did. Because if I did, that would be perfect. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. And we're going to start working on the Ursula cosplay. So, till then, take care, guys. <laughs>